here we go. I am back in the kitchen. I hadn't been in here in a few days because I've been, what have I been doing? Uh, I've been doing workouts outside and I am planning to do one of those tonight. But uh, I've been cooking, I just hadn't videoed. But I've got my new little microphone here, so I hope it's working. If you're on here, let me know if you can hear me loud and clear. Hey, Linda. Yeah, give me some a thumbs up. Yeah, okay. So, I cooked some soup today. It was kind of hot weather for soup, but I had some hamburger meat, and I had some vegetables that I wanted to cook, and so I just did it. And you know what my husband said? So, I asked him, I said, so how was the soup? He said, man, you knocked it out of the park. So, I'm not cooking it for you tonight because I had already cooked it. But I went to that Reedy Creek meat place and I got the 70-30 hamburger meat, which really browned up pretty. So that's what's in this soup is that hamburger meat. And I'm just going to spoon it up. I do have a bag of organic mixed vegetables. So you see that corn. We typically don't eat corn, but um, that's what I had. I'm trying to, you know, get some stuff out of the freezer. I put a, a can of tomato sauce, organic tomato sauce. You know, Walmart has all these organic products in the can. I don't usually buy canned stuff, but I do tomato sauce. And um, a can of organic black beans, okay? So, uh, yeah, and salt and uh, Italian seasoning. Put some onion in there when I was browning the meat along with some uh, coconut aminos. And I'm just gonna tell you, I hadn't tried it yet. Sorry. I hadn't tried it yet, but I'm about to. Mmm. I know why he liked it now. It's got a little bit of an Italian flair. He loves that. And that came from the tomato. Oh, and I put a bag of broccoli. There's the broccoli. Oh, and some spinach. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just keep adding things, but that's just kind of how I roll. All right. So let me tell you the other neat thing look at these these are keto biscuits this is the second time i've made them and i don't ever make anything the second time unless it's something really special so this is not something i would do often just because i don't want to get back you know in that direction of having bread all the time but you know every now and then you just want to have a treat so these are delicious if you want this recipe and i know i've said this before but I'm gonna send it out in an email in the next day or so, and it is delicious. And let me tell you why it's so good. What's different about it is it tastes like cornbread, honestly. And it's almond flour. Yeah, it is like cornbread. And my daughter, Leah, who has very sensitive taste buds, said that. She said, it, Mama, it's like cornbread muffins. Yeah. So you don't want to miss this recipe, but if you want to get it, you got to get on my email list. So put your message, your email below. Some of y'all, most of y'all that are on here are already on my email list. So you're going to get it. I promise if I have to just take a picture of the book that it was in and send it to you, I'll definitely post it in the Revive You Challenge community, which is where all the people are that are in my program. Okay. So I'm gonna push that aside just a minute because I kind of had something, you know, just just kind of serious I wanted to talk about since I hadn't been on here. Oh, one more thing. I found a new kind of butter. I think my husband found this at Walmart. It's called Greenfields and I compared it to Kerrygold. It's grass-fed butter and it's made with pasteurized cream, which is the same thing that Kerrygold. You know, I'd love it if I, just kind of made my own butter and I've been I've been thinking about that I got a guy that I can get milk from and his cows are mostly grass-fed this time of year they probably are grass-fed in the winter I'm sure they give them grains and hay and stuff but anyway this is just a new uh, this is the unsalted brand so it's just a new uh, new kind of it's Irish butter all right so there we go um, okay so I've been talking with a few people lately and I've been seeing some stuff on Facebook about the keto diet and this keto product and this and that. And you know, there are a lot, there's a lot out there. And I know right now people probably don't have their minds so much on uh, losing weight, but what our minds should be on is being healthy. 
what can we do to help ourselves? And I just want to tell you that putting something in a drink every day or taking something every day, it may help you, but it's not something that's sustainable for the long term. I did a lot of those things and, and I lost weight with some of those, but now I just eat healthy. I mean, who wouldn't love that for supper? I mean, that's pretty much what I've had today along with some blackberries, I think. You know, so I just want to encourage you to just be careful about what you're seeing and just know that there is a, a right way and a wrong way. And here's what I want to tell you. The food industry and the medical society, you know, the information that they're still giving out as far as, you know, if you're diabetic, you need to have so many carbs, you know, 30 carbs a meal. And, you know, I heard that from a diabetic today. She said, that's what they told me. And, and I've got people that are diabetic, type 1 diabetics that are decreasing their insulin. And why is that happening? Because the reason you take insulin is because your sugar is in your blood. And if you don't eat sugar, it won't get there. It takes a little while, but it, it won't get there. Okay, so I hope you have a great day. I hope uh, you'll try. I mean, I can put the soup recipe too, but honestly, it's a one of a kind. That's how I do my soup. I just brown the meat and, you know, then we go from there. So uh, let me see, my battery's low here. Um, and then I add whatever I have. So basically, I just put the tomato sauce. But you can come back and listen to it and write, jot it down as I do it. But I will give you this recipe, but it's going to be in my um, email. So you got to get on my email list to get it. You can unsubscribe at any time. I'm going to be sending out a few more emails here soon. So I hope you have a great day, and we'll talk soon.